as the crew of the DSS-1 first discovered, waking up to everything you know being helplessly changed is a jarring experience. Friends, family, and lovers are but a distant memory, more than 40 years into your past. Everything around you has been changed drastically with new places, faces, and new hierarchies to make yourself accustomed. Samson, Rune, and Yu Huan have done their best with a bad situation, trying to survive each day and not fall into despair. As we zoom into the ship now, we find ourselves pulled towards the cryo bay, or what is left of it, after several near-death experiences have caused our crew to scrap pods. One pod is occupied, however, and we look into the viewport into the cold, lifeless face of Gregory Argyle, his salt and pepper goatee the same, same length it was trimmed when this Sahara crew departed Earth. Suddenly, his eyes pop open to reveal two deep brown eyes. The eyes shift about frantically, taking in their surroundings and reflecting for us the faces of Samson and Rune. You two have successfully created an antidote to Argyle's condition using the alien blood sample you obtained from the abandoned beret outpost. Wasting no time, you injected it into the feed tanks to the cryopod and waited results from Android's health scan before initiating the wake-up sequence. Now Gregory Argyle is waking up and looks confused and bewildered. Holy shit, Argyle. Can you hear me? Is everything all right? How do you feel? Samson? What's what's going on here? Uh, it's a... It's a long story, uh, buddy. We, uh... We've been through a lot of shit, but uh, long story short, we uh, discovered that you had a uh, some sort of blood illness and you weren't going to survive outside the pod. We were able to synthesize an antidote, uh, which is why you're waking up now. And and who is this? Are you a fresh, fresh-faced recruit from Sahara HQ? Uh, Gregory that's... Argyle, Lieutenant Commander, nice to meet you. As he looks at Rune. Uh, this is Rune Carlson. Uh, she's part of the long story that uh, we can debrief you on momentarily. Let's get you out of there first. Hi! <laughs> yeah, hi. And he kind of pulls you aside, Samson, and says, They are not making the recruits like they used to. Trust me. We'll get there. <laughs> uh, we- he stumbles a bit. Oh! Sorry, I'm having a hard time getting my sea legs. It's all good. Uh, how are you feeling? Are you, uh, any, uh, weird side effects from your long sleep? No. I feel good. Feel good. Feel ready for action. Well, uh, if you're feeling good, are you, uh, ready for, uh, the long, this long story I have for you, or do you need a second to catch yourself? Let me make a cup of coffee and we'll get the debriefing underway. About the coffee. Uh, we sold it. It's gone. Let's go ahead and just start with that debrief. Um, you better sit down for this. All right. Where's the captain? I'm sure he'll want to tell me this himself. Unfortunately, you're looking at him. What? Uh, just take a seat. <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, we, uh... He, he kind of, like, walks out of the cryo bay and sits down in the meeting room. Cool. I, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going to follow him in. I'm going to wave Rune in, in as to follow as well, just to kind of keep us all together. Um, but once we all get situated, I, uh, I sit down and say, uh, we were woken up on, man, it seems like it's been forever now, but only a couple of weeks ago, we were, uh, woken up and a situation had happened, uh, charting our course. We were about, I don't know, 20 years, light years away, and uh, we slipped through a wormhole that uh, projected us into a new system, and uh, there's not much recognizable. We are way off course from where we uh, were supposed to end up. How off course? Um, leave it Do to we say have there's... star charts? We have some basic star charts, but leave it to say that there is uh, no feasible way back with us uh, making it back alive. Well, that that can't be possible. We, there's something we got to do about this. Turn the ship around. We we got to go back. Find that find that wormhole. Um, we 
tried that and uh we weren't unsuccessful we have uh since we woke up the we uh, found that the captain uh was dead he uh killed himself no yes um we feel we uh were led to believe that it was uh some sort of hysteria brought on by the uh, long long time in the cryopods uh or maybe it was a reaction to us slipping through this wormhole it's uh since then we've kind of been fending for ourselves out here we're gonna try to take it slow because there's a lot on this ship that we need to introduce you to uh, the first person I want you to meet is sitting right next to me. Like I said, this is Rune Carlson. They're uh, a stowaway, but has found themselves uh, to be indispensable to the crew since we've started. Um, you might know them as one of the general's daughters. They uh, replaced um, basically your position since uh, you were out and we had no way to uh, wake you up without you uh, dying very quickly. So um, Rune was actually the one who synthesized this uh, cure for your uh, disease. So if anything, I feel like you should be uh, thanking her instead of giving me that uh, grumpy face over there, you old piece of shit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still trying to process Mark's death. I understand. We uh, obviously have had more time to deal with this, but since we've... Uh, started this journey into this new uh into this new system a couple other things have happened um we discovered a uh a wreckage of an alien ship and whoa, whoa that's whoa. okay i'm sorry <laughs> i know this sounds like a lot i need you to uh but i i i'm gonna i'm gonna we're gonna get this going i'm gonna give you all of it and then we can i can answer all your questions at the end does that sound good? Please hold your questions right. to the end of the presentation. So, okay. All right, fine. <laughs> he sits down and back down and relaxes a little bit. After uh, waking up, we've all had um, some different issues that we've been dealing with. Rune here has been suffering with some tears from her past. And uh, Yu Huan is having a bit of a what we think is a multiple personality disorder, which is an onset of uh, their time in the pod. We're not entirely sure of what that is. Um, but anyways, continuing, we went uh, and investigated this wreckage. And following the book to the letter, we uh, took any life forms that we found and uh, to be inspected and brought them back on board. Unfortunately, um, we lost that specimen. Uh, due to the fact that it was a relative of a very powerful government that is currently following us and uh, searching for our arrest. Um, we have been evading this uh, ship for probably the last week or so, and uh, it's been very difficult. We've come very close to death several times since then. Following our first interaction with the ship, we actually uh, ended up at a small space station where uh, we had our ship repaired and had some more interactions with a few different races. And uh, after that, we um, were able to get our new crew member, which is an engineer belonging to the race that of this specimen that we found. Um, then I call in Lorena. <laughs> uh, the... Eight and a half feet tall, uh, like, just lithe form of Lorena kind of pokes her head in and says, is it, is he okay? I mean, is this is the part where I introduce, and uh, Gregor Iago just, like, his eyes pop wide, and he just, like, sits back in his in his uh, chair for a second, and uh, reaches for um, just, like, the, the nearest anything to defend himself with i think he grabs just like a, a a tactical knife um out of like you know a a chair and just holds it up says whoa that is an that is an alien life form what are you samson what is going on here i 
I grab his forearm and I and put my other hand on his shoulder and try to ease him back down into the chair. I said, "It's, it's okay. There, uh, Lorena is here helping us right now and has actually made our situation a lot safer since we met her. I need you to take a seat. Like I said, it's a long story. So, you want to give me that knife? Can I hold on to it for now? As the acting captain right now, I'm actually going to say no. Um, just because you are still waking up and recovering, and I don't want you to put yourself in a situation that uh, we can't come back from. So I, I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist. Can you please give me the knife? You can have it back later. He kind of like just stares at you with intent, intent and intensity for a couple seconds, and it's really uncomfortable <laughs> and uh and then he he like smiles and he says of course captain and hands you the knife take the knife and i sheath it i guess we'll just keep on going <laughs> the uh so recently lorena has taken uh after rescuing lorena we've uh, been able to make some upgrades to the ship which has allowed our travel to be a lot safer and we are um we were able to procure a second vessel, which we can use um, for uh, other flights um, separate from the ship so that we can go from ship to planet since we have no landing gear currently. And uh, after a few more altercations with this uh, government that I mentioned, we uh, are now on our way to what we think is some sort of group that is resisting against this uh, government. So we're not sure what we're going into, but we were given coordinates and that at this point, it's our best bet to uh, follow them. Since seeing as though they saved our skins. Would you like a tea? I think we have a little bit of that left. Hmm. I'm going to make you a tea. <laughs> and I just like run out of the room. <laughs> so, uh, aliens exist. We've got one on the ship, and we're going to go meet some more. As of right now, that is the plan. I don't know about you, but our, uh, from my thought, we're uh, low on resources, and we need a way to uh, survive out here. There's been no human communication in any of the calls that we've sent out. We are just too far away to make it back fuel or otherwise in order to turn the ship around. Um, it's been my executive decision to keep going until we can find some sort of way back. But right now we're just rolling with the punches. Well, I hope you'll accept my advice the same as Mark Andes did as a number two. Well, I would love to have it to be honest. Right. It's been uh, a bit difficult now. Before permission you get to your... speak frankly. Permission granted, Lieutenant. This is a bad idea. We don't, uh... I know you've been awake longer than I have, but... We're a corporate military vessel. We're not supposed to be out here playing... Intergalactic diplomacy with... Alien life forms. Our job was to find a suitable planet to touch down and expand Sahara's corporate interests. This is not what we're trained for. I I know times are different, and I'm trying to come to grips with that, but it's my personal opinion that we should be looking for a way to get back home. Not involving ourselves in a intergalactic war or whatever seems to be going on over here what it what's happened is uh this sort of situation just kind of fell in our lap it wasn't really something that we asked for to be honest well looking back we kind of did ask for it with the you know pillaging of corpses but um you know i thought following the book was helping then uh, after that, I'm just not so sure. We, at this point, 
are hoping that this group that we are going to meet with in the next couple of days will provide us some sort of equipment technology or fuel or otherwise to try to find a way to make back or to find a place to settle to achieve that mission that you mentioned. And how do we know that this isn't some sort of trap? That's the whole point. We don't, but if they're willing to save us once, as long as we can be useful, I'm sure they'd be willing to save our skins again. Where's that newbie with the co- with the tea? <sighs> Should be back any time, I hope. So as if on cue, I walk back into the um, meeting room with tea, and we probably don't have anything to put in tea, so it's just the tea. <laughs> yeah. He takes it, inspects it a, a little bit, takes a sip. That needs cream. Uh... Sir, if you uh, know where to find some cream out here, I would be more than happy to add it to your tea. I, Are you I, getting an attitude with me? Well, I just don't know what kind of livestock we have around here. Space cows. Just not really sure where we're going to find cream, sir. Fine. He rubs his temples. Well, you're dismissed. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take that cue and I'm going to leave as quickly as possible. I didn't want to come back with the tea. So I uh, I pat him on the shoulder, Argyle on the shoulder, and I say, it's, it's good to have another military man back. I got to be honest. After uh, some of the shit that we've seen, it's nice to know that there's someone else who kind of has a brain like mine at my back. Yeah, well... Let's hope we can manage to wrangle the zoo in a little bit. In due time. So where's uh, where's Ensign Yuhuan? Currently, uh, they are uh, in the brig. Like I said, uh, this ship doesn't have the ship doesn't have a brig. Well, we uh, we fashioned one for this. Uh, this certain occasion um recently right before we uh were able to wake you up we found uh, a planet with a abandoned facility uh science facility and which is where we uh procured your cure however um we've noticed in the last couple of weeks that yu juan has not been themselves and is caused really the safety of the crew um, has been put in jeopardy several times because of Yu Huan's actions. Uh, so many that uh, I made the executive decision to arrest them, and now they are uh, awaiting punishment. I see. We're looking to see what will happen but having an extra set of ears to listen and uh judgment to be cast would be helpful we um i'm leaning towards the fact that although yu juan's actions have been very severe there have been many times where those actions have also saved us if we can figure out what's wrong with them, I feel like we might be able to fix whatever their problem is and uh, be able to carry on. But right now, they're not safe to be left alone. Well, you remember that um, Remember that mission to Algeria that we had? Well, I guess it's been decades now. I was going to say a couple of years back, but... That isn't true. No, my memory still serves from Algeria. Well, if you remember that time, you remember the sorts of decisions that we had to make in that jungle. And I um, think you know what needs to be done here. Can't have a can't have a dangerous individual draining your resources as few as they are. 
especially out here alone and isolated in space, in enemy territory, no less. Now, Gregory, we know that we talked about this, that we committed war crimes with that. I'm not going to have this happen again. If we can save them, then we will. I'm not going to have that be an option until it's the very last one. And right now, we have plenty before that. Well, you are the captain. So, that's that. All right. I'm going to let you take some time to wake up a little bit more. Um, if you want more tea, you know where to find it. not. Oh, well, I can't say I blame you there. <laughs> but we will uh, we'll meet back in a little bit. But right now, I need to have a conversation with you, Juan. All right. Where's that? Uh, where's that droid? I want to get my I want to get my physical out of the way. Yes, we can get that taken care of right now. If you head on over to the med bay, Android will see you. And he stands up and kind of like awkwardly uh, stands there for a second, not knowing quite what to do. And then he like issues you like a little salute and walks out of the room okay I call in uh rune and uh <laughs> to say what I put my head in my hands and I'm like oh my god this is gonna be a fucking nightmare isn't it I mean yeah I, I, I'm getting the feeling uh, things aren't gonna go so smoothly with I, I mean I don't know he's your buddy yeah but he's always had a very harsh uh, look on life and uh usually jumps to uh some wrong conclusions pretty quickly what um uh, what do you think about him i don't know he kind of reminds me of my dad just very Urgh. <laughs> well <laughs> i guess that's uh that's fair he does have a that kind of disposition i guess doesn't he um, Ur. Ur is a good one. I like it. Um, well, now looking at tests of you, Juan, do we really know what's going on with that yet? I'm trying to hold off any sort of severe punishments until we can really find out what's going on there. Well, I've had Android scanning their brain and what I'm seeing is actually two very, very distinct brain waves. I, I really don't know what to make of it. That's really interesting. What I think we might do is have Android uh, come and help us out with this. But I, we need to have a discussion with you, Juan, and see what's going on before we uh, make any major decisions. While I'm talking to you, Juan, can you keep an eye on the lieutenant for me, please? Do I have to? All I, you just got to keep him in the corner of your eye. I don't need you to interact with him. Just make sure he's not doing anything. Uh, okay. Okay. I really need your help with this. It would, I would really appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, I turn into Matthew McConaughey when I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all I, in right, fact, all I right. do. Okay, so now we're uh, walking over to have the Yuhuan interrogation. <laughs> yeah, I will say, Rune, you you go into the uh, med bay, and Android is just is just finishing up uh, with Argyle, and um, and he kind of looks at you and says. So you're my watcher now? Is that what's happening? So Rune, like, jumps a little. 
and then turns mm-hmm. around and like furiously pretends to be looking through the um blood samples as if I'm here for a different reason. <laughs> He's like sitting there just like with a hand on his ch- on his uh knee just kind of very intimidatingly seated and waits for you to get what you want and leave. I'm going to like pretend I didn't find what I was looking for in the um blood samples. <laughs> And start opening all the medical cabinets and just furiously reorganizing them. Mm -hmm. Just looking so busy. Android says, something I can help you find, Rune? No, it's just these damn cabinets are a mess, Android. Nothing's where it's supposed to be. How, how's any, how's anybody supposed to find anything in here? What if somebody gets hurt and you're just looking around? I gotta fix this whole system. I'm gonna be here a while, Android. And uh, she, and she says, I have a comprehensive memory file of everything in its proper layout. I know where to find things. <laughs> and I'm offended that you would insinuate that someone's gonna die on my watch. And Gregory Argyle says, offended? That's a funny word for... A droid. And she says, Nobody asked you! <laughs> <laughs> well, you are just That's noticing awesome. all sorts of sp- suspicious things, aren't you? Yeah, he's just still still sitting here just watching you. I'm watching sort you, of watching like him. Narrow my eyes at him and then turn around and go back to reorganizing. I am not putting okay. things where they belong. I'd like to make that clear. Right. Uh, Samson, you have you have gone down to the lower decks to the extra bathroom, uh, which has now been locked and serves as the makeshift brig for Yu Huan. So, uh, Yu Huan, are you ready to tell us what's going on? I mean, first of all, why did it take you so long to like come down here and check on me? Like, I I banged my head against the table. And knock myself out. How do you know I wasn't gonna be some bloody mess or clawing my face off or just doing some crazy shit? Gonna be honest, we've had some other stuff going on. Uh, well, others. We the uh, uh, to start the uh, the lieutenant is awake. He is. Yeah, and so Rune completed the synthesized cure then yes rune was able to synthesize that oh wow but you know what with everything that's been going on our lieutenant's first thought is to just send you off into space by yourself send me off into fucking space like who does he think he is he was sleeping the entire time now you juan listen the issue is that the danger that we've been put in because of your actions have been unacceptable. I have come here to talk to you and ask what's going on. Uh, Rune tells me that your brain scans, since you've been unconscious from your uh, head injury, has revealed that you are having uh, almost two brains working at the same time. Wait, what? Like it's two different people. Two brains? Is that a, how is that <sighs> even possible? Are you saying that I'm not the only one in my head? That's what I came here to ask. Um, the things that you're able to do and your knowledge is really invaluable to our group. And I am willing to forego punishment or at least most of it if as long as we can figure out what is going on and we can fix it we would like i would like to keep you aboard to help the crew because all of your skills are this is the whole reason why we were chosen as a full crew 
to work together to fill in all the all the gaps. Without you, we've got a big gap missing, and I don't know how we'll be able to fill it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know this is serious, but you you missed a pretty good opportunity for a pun there. Um, but you know, all that aside. Um, okay, I don't, something weird's been happening. I've been blacking out and waking up in strange places. Um, but honestly, the more it happens, the more I kind of know what's been happening while I'm not there. I would like to get out of the cell, but I don't know what's going to happen. I can tell you right now, we probably won't let you out without, until we know that you're stable. Um, I think you're going to get to know the med bay and this little spot really well for the next little bit, unfortunately. I don't know what this second personality or whatever it is is, but we can't have it threatening the crew if you can understand i i can understand but also in the same token i'm kind of rather intrigued um it seems that i'm that i black out when i'm really overwhelmed or in a situation that i normally wouldn't really know how to handle maybe we can use this as an opportunity to try to draw it out and figure out exactly what it is. Maybe I should, quote, be jettisoned and just try to see what happens as a response. Got it. And maybe... Um, so I call Android in. Can I... I'm going to, on the comms, say, Android, come here for a second. You get no response. Oh shit. Rune, what's going on? Where's Android? Um She She was just in here. Wait. I don't know. I'll look for her. Shit. Is okay. Argyle still in the med bay? Gavin? Ye- uh yes. Yeah, I mean he he didn't sneak away without your without your knowing, but But apparently you were Android on- did. Yeah, you were focused on him, and I mean, she comes and goes like it's, it's just like you know keeping track of a Roomba. Like <laughs> <laughs> she just does her jo- her job, and you kind of forget that she's there. I think I'm gonna so. get a Roomba, but I think I'm gonna get emotionally attached to it, and I just don't really yeah. know. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna look at Argyle <laughs> and be like. Stay right here, and then I'm gonna run out looking for Android. Can I request a furlough from the cell? Like, it's kind of why aren't there better accommodations? I mean, if these cells are for us, why are we in this shitty little room? We could at least like have some comfort in here. Um, I mean, your room's got a shitter in it, doesn't it? I mean, but how am I supposed to like function with a quote shitter? <laughs> We, well, um... How about I, like, you let me out for a little bit, and then we go to the med bay, and then Rune can show me these scans about my second brain. And, like, maybe... What is, what is this stemming from? Can I have more information on this? Um, um, I am cautious, to be completely frank... If Argyle were to see you right now, I am afraid of what he would do. I am. He is kind of a... What can he do? Is, He's been comatose. He's probably still getting over his limb atrophy. Like, I'm pretty sure that we will be fine. Rune, you are in the, um, the cockpit and you found uh, Android, who is uh, typing away at the console. Hey, Android, I don't know if you're busy, but, um, Samson was calling for you earlier. I don't know if you heard him. Uh, she does not 
look up or respond to you. Hey, Android. I'm going to like look over her shoulder at what she's typing. Um, yes. So she is, uh, it, it seems to be, um, that she is trying to override the, uh, the current course and heading. Android, what are you doing? I'm going to like call Samson. Can you, uh, get up here? There's something weird going on with Android. Yes. Uh, you want come with me. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and like, try to override what she's doing. Okay. Yeah, she doesn't really pay much attention to you doing that. Um, Just like, you are kind of just like competitively trying to maintain course, and she is trying to keep get you off course. I'm just gonna keep sort of working on undoing everything that she's doing while I wait on Samson to come up and do you want to maybe, uh, we could use a move. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm thinking defuse is probably yeah. the most relevant. Probably. That is going to be a seven. A seven. Okay. So, uh, you're going to have to choose one. GM will demand a sacrifice to secure your safety. It's only a temporary reprieve and the danger will soon return. The danger is still present, but threatening someone or something else. Let's go with a temporary reprieve. Okay. So um, Android just stops um, what she's doing and like just very like robot mechanically just like turns and uh, marches out of the room. I'm going to go ahead and follow her. Yeah, you go you go to follow her. It looks like uh, she is actually making her way down to the um, to the uh, bottom level where you guys currently are heading up and you're gonna kind of bump into each other huh, okay uh android what what's going on what are you doing uh she pushes past you uh i grab i grab her by the arm and say hey stop what's going on i mean you're gonna have to apply a bit of force because she's stronger yeah. than you yeah uh shoot what should i do what should i should i do a roll yeah, well, we can defuse it, right? Can I use intimidation or physical exertion to stop, sure. stop her? Seven. Seven? Okay. Yeah. Pick one of those options. The second one. Temporary reprieve, I guess. Okay. Um, she kind of just like, you, you get in front of her and put both hands on, your, on her shoulders. Yeah. Uh, and until she's just kind of like, just like w- walking in place, like she's like hit a wall or something and just doesn't rec- re- uh, recognize it's there. Uh, and then she stops and is just kind of standing there. Android, what is going on? Wake up. Let's like, I like, you know, snap my fingers in front of in front of their face and see what's going on. Does Android have like a control panel? Mm hmm. OK, cool. I want to try to sort of diagnose what's going on with her um is that going to be like a move what kind of a move is that going to be i could unleash power it's a it's a diagnose android move i mean obviously (laughs) yeah that's i'm i see that in my book yeah so i'm just gonna roll plus whatever the fuck i want and it's um apparently automatically successful According to this page right here. <laughs> nice try. I think, yeah, Unleash Power is fine. Okay. Cool. So that's going to be plus lore. That's going to be another seven. Okay. Uh, you pick two. Okay. So the device can be used again, and I avoid the device's side effects. I'm not trying to get Android electrocuted today. <laughs> Okay, you kind of like you open up the panel. It's kind of just like a um, like a door on her back Mm -hmm. uh, that you open up and expose like her kind of matrices. Uh, And you notice that you have read the technical manuals on Android and um, know what her panel supposed to look like. It Mm -hmm. has been tampered with. Um, Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let Samson know 
And is there anything I can do to try to fix her? Or is there any way I can tell exactly how it's been tampered with? Like, that would have been here? that would have been the device does exactly what you wanted, I think. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. See, because I say even when a device doesn't do what the player wants, rolling a seven plus should still improve their current situation. So you now know it's been tampered with. Okay, cool. See what I did there? Yeah, I <laughs> I see what you did there. Um, Samson, we need to deal with Argyle right now. He fucked up Android. And I'm Shit. mad. Android's my boo. I love her. We're besties. Okay. Um, you, Juan, do you think you can fix her? I think I can totally fix Android. However, I cannot do that if I am in the cell. So it looks like I need to be removed from the cell. Uh, so you're going to open the cell? You're going to open it, like, now? I say, yeah, okay. Um, go ahead. Go back and uh, whatever you need to do, let's see if we can get her up and running again. All right, sounds good. Okay, Rune is going to get impatient um, with this conversation and head back towards the medical bay looking for Argyle. Okay. Uh, you are on your way up to uh, the med bay. Yeah, yeah, he's he's still there. He's still there. Why not? Why is he still there? Hey, you don't know. Okay. What did you do with Android? I did not do anything to the Android. You did something to her because... Samson was downstairs, and I know I didn't do it. Who else would have done done anything? Well, I'm not too sure to be honest. Uh, what's seen, what's what's your problem? What's what's the android's problem? She what was trying to get with? us to rechart our course, which. You've been gunning for us since you woke up. Well, I know that she uh, got a little mouthy and testy with me in here a minute ago. Seems that she's not completely uh, under your guys' control anyway. How do you know that she's not doing this on her own volition? She is a robot. By the way... You, you've seen got- too many horror movies, my friend. Now that I've got you, what do you really think about going to this alien rendezvous? I know you have family at home. Don't you ever want to see them again? I'm not really planning on seeing anyone from home again. That's kind of why I came. You're uh, you're General Harold Carlson's daughter, aren't you? Um, that is that is correct, sir. And if I recall, you've got a brother or two. Mm-hmm. Why don't you want to see them again? And I know Harold could be testy and a little bit judgmental, so not the best father, I imagine. But well, your brother, you always, you two always seemed close when we went to when I saw you at uh, mixers and corporate gatherings. Well, you know my. My brother knows that I'm gone, so I think he's going to be just fine. And with all due respect, sir, I don't really think it's any of your business. Well, it's ev- it's all of our business. Well, except for the uh, thing skulking around somewhere. Uh, by the way, back to the topic of the android, how do you know that it wasn't uh, that alien? What's because- her What's her stake in this? Because we're already going exactly where Lorena wanted us to. But yet, uh, Samson said that she was part of the government that they're f- that this group is fighting. How do we know that she's not a double agent? You know, I just really don't think she would have done any of the things that she did for us if she 
wasn't on our side. I just think you've gotten a little too com- too set on this this plan of Samson's without really stopping to consider it. So, and I want you to think about it honestly. Think about whether or not he's the leader that you need him to be, or if you're just going along with it because you're young. I need to go check on our android. You better stay put and don't fuck around with anything else. I've been here this whole time. I'm gonna stick my tongue out at him and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> Just sort of. Mm. <laughs> this guy really brings out the immature in our resident. What did we decide she was? 20? In our resident 20, 20 yeah. year old. Yeah. He really brings out the 20 in Rune. <laughs> For sure. Greetings, dear listener, from beyond space and time. I am the Game Master. Every episode, I like to take a second to appear, hat in hand, to ask for a little bit of financial support. If you enjoy what we do, please consider becoming a subscriber at patreon.com slash roll underscore warriors. This really is a ton of work that the whole crew puts in for every episode, and your contributions could help make it even better. $5 a month is all it takes to become a patron, and we do have some bonus episodes available for backers and the opportunities to suggest what you would like for us to do for our next bonus episode. I've begun the process of mastering and polishing the vast collection of music from Season 1 of Roll Warriors into something of an album. Now, the final product won't include everything that I composed for the season, but I have selected tracks that I felt could stand alone as music worth listening to. Keep an eye out for more information in the future about the release date and place for this album. I will most likely be creating a deluxe version of the album as a Patreon exclusive, which will include more tracks and perhaps even more goodies, so be sure to subscribe today. If money is tight right now, which I totally get, consider following us on Twitter at Roll Warriors and sharing us with your friends and family. Word of mouth is a really powerful tool and you could help us out immensely just by getting your friends listening as well. That just about wraps up the ads, so I will let you get back to the episode. You have repaired Android, and she's back to being her normal self, and she says, What? I... Why am I in the... Why am I in the cargo hold? Can you remember anything that happened before you were here? I do not... What are you doing outside of your cell? Wow, Android. How about thank you to begin? Um, I'm outside of myself fixing you because you were just incapacitated conveniently. And I'm trying to figure out how this may have happened. I don't know, to maybe uh, avenge you or something you know trying to look out for you and the first thing you ask me is how i'm out of myself cool how you feeling i feel normal but a little bit disturbed about my lost time yeah. i can relate to you now yeah see maybe 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 we're sisters after all who knows um okay um you want to do a quick self-diagnostic just to see how you're how you're running? You re- you repaired my uh, optical sensors and my auditory controls. Does Andrew record like, um, I guess like visionary and like audio things to like recall? She later? would have. She would have if those hadn't been deactivated. Okay. Okay. Do I know that yet? Yeah. I mean, you, you, you know, she, she asked you, you repaired my, you know, my auditory controls and my visual sensors. Like you did, you know that you did. Yeah. Um, Okay, cool, cool. And that wasn't the only thing that was tampered with too. The other thing was the, um, accepted personnel. So Samson, Rune, you, or were not considered accepted personnel. Oh, wow. In her data bank. Wow. Okay. Um, all right. So, Android, it seems like 
There was another thing that was kind of weird with your programming and protocols. Um, it seems the personnel that you take orders from was changed. How do you think this could have happened? Someone would have had to have opened my paneling and done that manually. Right, obviously. So who do you think else on board would have reason to do so? I would choose not to speculate. I don't want to immediately blame Argyle. Um, He just doesn't... I mean, I don't know. He seems like kind of a douchey guy that would try to instigate a mutiny. But do you think this could have anything to do with our new friend as well? Did you have any contact with them or her? Well, we were in the med bay for about a minute before Rune Carlson entered. That's the only alone time I've spent with him, and I was giving him a physical. Hmm. And that's the last thing you remember before things went black? Okay, so you were in the med bay before Rune came in. I mean, he does have first-hand knowledge of the ship, I guess. Do you think there's maybe... Something he could have done to, like, short you? Or how do you think this could have been done, like, remotely? Or he would have to go into your paneling? I am not explicitly aware of the multiple ways in which I could be hacked. Yeah, uh, that's something that I wouldn't want you to have to focus on either. Um, well, we pretty much know who the culprit is, and we should just go get his ass and throw him in the brig. Um... What do you say, Android? It is worth noting, since we are not trying to speculate overly, that there is a possibility that alien technology could have been at play. Well, I mean, I asked. I asked if you thought that our new friend could have been involved, too. I did not infer that. My apologies. Oh, well, I mean, it's fine. I guess I wasn't too specific. I could have just said her name. Yeah, because, you know, when you... <laughs> From Gavin's perspective, when you said new friend, the newest friend is is an old friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, I guess now that you mention it, I'm glad we're on the same page. It could have been that alien. I mean, they did have somewhere they need to go, and I can see how you could be seen as valuable to an alien resistance, resistance group. Okay, Andrew, let's just go round everybody up and start questioning, because I guess speculating is causing us to waste time. And yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to Argyle and Lorena and see see who caves. Is that what Samson wants to do? Uh... Samson, I know. I know you're trying to hold the crew together, but... With the mere seconds from this man awakening, he has already sowed the seeds of descent into the group by possibly most likely hijacking Android and programming her to no longer affiliate with us. If there is a reason that would justify someone being around up and questioned, that I feel is a reason. I can't believe I'm saying this, Captain, but we are in the unique position of trusting Yu Huan on this, given that they are the only one who has not had access to me recently. I know you're correct. Yeah, I I agree with you. Obviously, you've been with me the whole time. There's no way that you could have done that. I'm not saying that you did. Um, It's pretty obvious that there's really only two culprits. Suspects. Suspects for this, and... Yeah, we need to figure this out before it becomes too much of an issue. Yu Huan, um... He tried to convince you to kill me! Come on! It's obviously him. Can we please go round him up? Yu Huan, I appreciate you fixing Android. I would like to trust you. But I am not sure when this second second brain of yours is going to switch on and i don't know if i can trust that's the brain that i'm a little afraid of. i mean it does tend to happen when i'm feeling overwhelmed and i'm starting to feel overwhelmed since i'm not trusted anymore apparently 
and that is exactly why I am going to have you and Android stay together. Android, can you please make sure that you keep an eye on you, Juan, and the second anything happens, send me a call. Absolutely, Captain. You, Juan, I can do that. I'm going to permit you access to the ship. You're just going to have a little shadow for a little bit before until we can figure out what's going on. I'm not going to do anything with you until we know what is happening. Okay? Okay. I mean, I guess that's fair. Um, I do believe... I do believe that um, I guess I should give Android another once-over um, just in case whatever, you know, scrambled her. Um, may have been done like remotely or without or within like a short amount of time I am not sure all I know is that um, Argyle is not a fan of what our current plan is and the man only deals with absolutes simple questions simple answers and no funny business so I mean obviously this is basically going everything against that yeah this because this is definitely funny business so yeah hey android with your consent of course do you mind if i make a slight modification that will only allow or i guess i mean i guess you can't really stop being hacked if it's hacked if it's the technology but at least just a small modification that allows either myself samson or room to override any orders that would act against us i don't like that particularly with your involvement she kind <laughs> of looks too, over android at samson you too, girl. I just <laughs> a2 <fixed you>. android <laughs> i just fixed you girl <laughs> well what do you guys think so i guess we're gonna all head to the med bay then since they're still there yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's still seated, um, in the on like the examining bench, just a grin across his face. He says, "Hello, Captain. How's it? Uh, you seem to be having problems." Gregory, you told me you wouldn't do this. And so, um, uh, walks up to Gregory and says, "You son of a bitch!" and fiercely assaults him. Can I fiercely assault roll? <laughs> Uh, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Can I do an opposing thing? I'm gonna defuse that. <laughs> Try to defuse it. Um, defuse. I guess defuse could work. I was. I was thinking. You also have your special move. The holding that, back like, the tide. Yeah. You do your roll, and then I'll. Then I'll see what happens. You want? Okay. I wrote a ten. But <laughs> okay, but I do have minus one force, so that's an is that a nine? Okay, yes, it's a lucky, nine. lucky, it's a lucky, and I had minus one force, so I would have been on. What <laughs> I, I rolled a 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, it just says. Uh, no harm comes to the thing you defend. You deflect blows raining down on you harmlessly away, or you force the danger back and away. So I'm just gonna do the last one. I was gonna say, what what does it look like? So yeah, I was just gonna walk up to him and slap him in the face, or try to. Yeah. Seeing you take those steps forward, I'm gonna step in front of him and grab your arm before you can do anything. And I and I say. I whispered to you, I was like, you need to be in control right now, How? okay? But the son of a bitch came on our ship after it's been fucking asleep, freaking tampering with Android for her to for her to defect against us, and you're telling me that I need to remain in control when this man is sitting up here obviously trying to steal the ship away from us. He's already told you to throw me in a space, and you're telling me that I'm the one that needs to calm the fuck down? Like, I can't. I can't. I can't. You listen here, Argyle. I see right through you, and you just wait. You just wait. Okay? You're gonna get yours, and it's gonna be real fucking good. Okay. So, I'm gonna... (sighs) Ease, uh... Yeah. 
ease you clawing back and say, I need you to stop. Stop. He's so fucking You're not smug. helping your case right now. He's sitting there smiling like a creep. Like, look at I him. will put you back in your room if I have to. Put me back in the room, Samson. Put me back in the room. We've are look, look at that. Samson, what are you doing? Like, what part what part of like isn't this isn't this considered like treason? Isn't this treason? Like like what is this? Like what what is he oh my god i can't i can't i believe the term you're searching for is mutiny Mutiny. and that is a very very serious accusation and tampering with my android is a very serious serious offense i'm not letting this go i'm not one that i'm not trying to avoid with him but also with you Mm -hmm. so i would suggest you take a step back sit down and be quiet. Wow, some captain. Some captain, Samson. Wow. Okay, so how are you going to handle this? How are you going to handle this? My, oh my. I turn to Argyle and say, what the fuck did you do? Well, Samson, I just got to say right off the bat, I don't think this is the sort of insubordination that Mark Andes would have expect or would have respected. And I don't think that... Juan? No, no, we're talking... We're talking newcomer who was sleeping their entire time, and the only time you're a fucking live right now is because of what we went through. Um, uh, uh, okay. Anyway, you, we saved your ungrateful ass life. We could have left you in that stupid fucking cryo tank and used it as fuel. Like, there's, and you have the nerve, you have the nerve to sit here and talk about any type of insubordination. Like, can you even walk? Like, get up. Get up right now, Argyle. He stands uh, at full height and kind of looks down at you and says, I was walking before you could crawl, you Juan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen things that you couldn't imagine. Oh, boo fucking And they have taught me a very simple truth. If you can't keep your crew together, they aren't a crew. You hear that, Samson? We're not a crew. And on that note, fiercely assault again. Can I do another fiercely assault roll? <laughs> like, let's go. I mean, if you want to roll dice, I'm letting you roll dice. Go for it. All right. Yeah. Okay, I got a seven, but minus one is a six, so that was a failed roll. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take a hard move, because I'm assuming that nobody is going to help you, Juan. No, I I'm really not sure if I've even again. made it back in the room at this point. I don't know that Rune. I don't know that Rune is in the room. Yeah, um, but we don't know where you are, and we'll have to figure that out, won't we? My plan was that I was going to go check on Android. Android is with us right now. Android is with them. Okay, but have they moved from where they were? I might yeah. still be in the brig looking for everyone. Yeah, I mean, you'll see Lorena. Uh, who is, okay. who is, she is like just in her like little makeshift cot cubby area in the cargo hold. And, uh, she's just got like a little device that she's just kind of toying with. It's, it looks like a puzzle of some kind. Cause she's just bored. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and plop down on Lorena's, um, bunk and you guys can just cut back to me when you're done. Um, resolving this mutiny issue that rune has apparently decided is less important than this eight foot tall smoking hot alien yeah (laughs) so what the 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 fiercely assault fail is um argyle is he's he's big he is military trained and he is not going to just let you attack him so uh, you got a six, which means I take a hard move, and the hard move is um, you like drive forward with a fist, uh, and he catches it in the air and knees you squarely in the chest, knocking the wind completely out of you, and you will take one harm. Did he hit me in the stomach? <laughs> he need you in the stomach. <sighs> Maybe you'll think twice about trying that again. Is this how you run your ship, Samson? Uh, Damn it, Gregory. What the hell are you doing? Um, I had 
stirring up shit the second you wake up is no better than before. Like, come on, you got to be fucking kidding me right now. If it took me 10 minutes to completely untether this this crew, uh, then we're in a lot worse shape than I thought. This crew has been running fine until you woke up. Right now, all I see is a problem. You could be the problem or you could be a solution. Make the choice now. Otherwise, we're going to have some issues. That's an order, Lieutenant. And he's just going to look. Yeah, he's going to he's going to like get right in your face and uh, just like eye to eye and say. Yes, Captain, go find a seat. Don't fucking go anywhere. Don't fucking do anything. I'll be deal with you. I'll be dealing with you in a second. And he is going to leave the room to go sit down in the main main area, the meeting room. I turn around to you, Juan, and say, "Are you okay?" I'm fine, Samson. I'm glad you finally got the balls to get him in check before I had to. Yeah, that seemed to really go well for you. Well, it didn't go well for... I mean, I guess it didn't go well for me. It's a good thing you stood in. Yeah. You, Juan, we need to talk about these outbursts. This is the shit that we're talking about. It continues to be an issue, and the more that it happens, the less I am able to convince people on the crew, in the ship, to accept the fact that we should keep you on. Now, I've tried to reason with you, but if this is how we're going to act every single time, then I don't know if we're going to be able to trust you to act rationally any time shit hits the fan. So, really, honestly, it's been fine until up till recently, but right now, I just, we can't keep doing this. Do you understand? Where I'm coming from. But right now, right now, I think it would be the most efficient to just pull up the weeds. And such a blatant display of, is there even a word for it? He needs to be removed. Yeah, but the blatant display that we've seen from you got us ki- almost got us killed, right? By that logic, you should go with him. Is that what you want? Um, you know, I'm starting to reconsider. Maybe I should. I'm just going to put my head in my hands and like say, okay, I'll calm down for a second. It is, I agree with you that it is very clear that what Gregory is doing resembles an issue that he and I have had in the past. Uh, When we went on this trip, really this voyage, we said that With Captain Andes in charge, we both agreed that his extreme reactions to things would not be an issue. It's been a blessing that he's been unconscious for so long because I fear that this would have happened so much earlier had he been awake when all of the shit happened at the beginning. I am trying to hold us all together in a way that is going to keep everybody amicable, but clearly this isn't going to happen. You, Juan, what I need to do right now, we need to get to the bottom of this right now um, so that we can figure out what to do. My priority is to keep you here over the lieutenant currently due to your expertise. And because we've been through so much together, we obviously, Rune and I, consider you as a friend and family more than anything else. I'll accept that. However, I also believe that maybe now you've acquired a new warrior. You know, at first, a technician. But now I feel like I could kick some ass. I feel like Arkal should come back and we should settle this once and for all. Lorena says, There's nothing to do around here. 
I'm bored. Are you bored? <sighs> Pretty bored. So, um, you come here often? I'm on. I'm on my bunk that you so nicely made for me. Yeah. Um, how How do you like your bunk? Is it Is it comfortable enough for you? Can you? Is there something else I can do? Like, is it big enough? I don't know. We could find out. Ooh. ooh. Um. Okay. So we could not be bored. Rune just starts like blushing, real blushy like and just like looks down at the floor and starts like fidgeting with her hands because she doesn't have a puzzle yeah (laughs) (laughs) she is freaking the fuck out (laughs) okay so she's like freaking out and she's looking down and she looks back up and she's like um i could i could not be bored yeah So we're back to we're back to the med bay where you and uh, where Samson and Yuhan are having a very heated discussion. Yeah, bring him back, bring him back, Samson. I like obviously since Yuhan Yuhan is such a liability to the group. Let's see, let's see who's more useful. Yuhan, I'm not going to have any fights on my ship. There are other ways that we can figure this out without unnecessary violence. Mm, maybe sometimes. Because if you give him the option for that, it will not end well for you. I promise. Okay. I promise you that. Okay. You're right. You're right. We'll try it your way, Samson. But I'll be standing by. Okay. Um. Will you allow, allow yourself to be... Uh, Taken in for some medical tests. What kind? We're going to do another uh, CT scan. To determine what exactly? We need to look at your uh, brain function and get to the bottom of this. Um, We're going to go with your plan from earlier and try to put you in some distress to try to get um, this second mind of yours to uh, see if it can... um, reveal itself to us Hmm. second mind you say okay i'll entertain this um yeah let's provoke the second mind and how do you plan on doing this well uh it'll be a surprise okay (laughs) and then uh i call android i uh i call android in or android's still there right she's there yeah she's been here she just kind of like when she's not being directly addressed, she just kind of passively stands there. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, Android, uh, are you ready? Or can we be ready here in the next minute or so? Yes, Captain. Just then, the proximity alarm uh, starts blaring throughout the ship. Motherfucker. What now? Um, I go, so, Yuhan, Android, let's go. Um, well, sounds like we're headed towards the bridge. Yeah, this is getting very interesting, Samson. Yeah, you pass the, uh, you pass through the meeting room and, uh, Argyle is not there. Fucking knew it. Okay, I'll just, just take off, start running straight towards the cockpit. Um, uh, yeah, so you're, you get to the cockpit and your stomach sinks. You see the oppressive obsidian knife ship um, emerge across a stretch of space, and it is gunning for your direction. And then uh, over the comms, you hear the voice of Gregor Argyle say, I'm sorry, Captain. I didn't really like the chair that I was sitting in, so I found a more comfortable one. You motherfucker. And he's like, you you hear the the sound of like the ornithopter um, engines like whirring in the background of his comms. God. He says, "I'll be taking this uh, this secondary ship here, and looks like you've got some friends to deal with." Oh yeah, and I know exactly how to deal with them. Um, 
Okay, now I 100% want to super fiercely assault. Where is he? Is he over at Intercom? Can I go find him? He's on the he's on the other ship. He's on the yeah. other ship. The other ship that you guys have tethered to you. Um, I do want to briefly just cut back to uh, Rune and uh, and Lorena, who are interrupted in whatever they're doing uh, by the sounds of the proximity alarm blaring. Over Wouldn't you intercom. like to know? <laughs> yeah, and she's and like you guys like get up from the bed. What was that? God. Fucking damn it, I can never have any fun on this ship. I'm gonna pick up a shirt off the floor. Don't need to ask why my shirt is on the floor. I'm just gonna pick it up and um, walk out of the room angrily to go investigate. Yeah, she's gonna slowly dress herself, but it will probably head in your direction as well. So you guys are back in the cockpit. Um... And you see the, uh, you see the ornithopter, um, peeling away on the view screen, just kind of like flapping its wings. Um, and you can already hear over the intercom, um, alarm, like klaxons are blaring, uh, over Argyle's intercom. And he's like, what's wrong with this damn ship? It's not flying like it's supposed to. Yeah, it's fucking alien technology. What did you expect, dumbass? And I think I may have just figured out how we can solve this problem. So, Samson, what do you say we convince the these whoever they are that we have realized the error of our ways and we have decided to turn over the assailant? to them as a form of goodwill you know that they've seen our faces and that they probably won't accept some random person as a uh as a bargaining chip they're They're gonna want all of us for what we've done well since they seem to be you know militaristic they seem rational enough to understand that we were just taking orders you know, he wants this new chair. Let's let him have it. Uh, Rune and Lorena enter the room um, together, and and Lorena says, oh, "Not the warship again. How are we getting out of this?" Uh, we're gonna turn over Argyle as our quote commander that he wants to be, and he's gonna take the fall since we were just following orders. Alternate option: we could blow them up. How are we gonna blow that up? I'm listening. Mm. You do not have the... I'm sorry, Rune. You do not have the firepower to take on a warship. We should be running. I uh, would like to also say, you, Juan, I'm, I'm sorry. That's not really their, how Imperial Protocol operates. They will, they will take everyone. Okay. okay, so upon hearing Lorena say we should be running... Rune, who at this point is only taking orders from Lorena because she's a dirty, dirty fucking simp, is going to run to the cockpit and just start trying to fly away. All right. In the heat of things, Samson, are you just letting Rune take the helm or what's going on? Uh, Seeing that, I say, Rune, you've got controls, right? I got this. Okay, I'm going to go sit on the communication center. You keep us out of the way. We'll see if we can get ourselves out of here. I mean, we still have that cloaking device. Is that correct, Lorena? Is there a way to maybe use it while they're focused on Argyle? Maybe his idiocy will help clear an escape for us. The cloaking device. I, I, of course, I didn't think about it, but uh, we haven't had time to make the necessary alterations to fit it to your ship. It'll have to be fast. Um. Well, you know. Can I borrow you, Juan, Captain Samson? As long as they don't do anything silly. Go ahead. <laughs> you silly goose. Um, just before you guys leave the room uh, to go work on that, um, do you hear one more frustrated declaration from Argyle? He's just like, something's wrong. This cockpit's leaking air everywhere. I don't know. <sighs> and the ornithopter explodes off off the port side like window. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Yeah, it does. <laughs> wow, let it go out with a bang. Well, okay. Oh man. I just 
I, I don't know. I still feel a little disappointed. I would have loved for my hand to connect with his face at least once. But, you know, <laughs> I'll settle for space dust. Anyway, um, yeah, Lorena, I guess. I'm sorry about your friend. Let's go work on the cloaking device. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. Um, well, I mean, I guess I wish she kind of, like, lasted a little longer. Do we still have a clear avenue of escape? That would be a good thing to try to do right now. Yeah. Why don't, uh, why don't we get a person who is flying the ship? That would be me. To do a, um, I'm gonna go with Forge a Path. That is gonna be a 10. Okay. So uh you're gonna just pick one of them things. Okay. Um one of those opsharoonies. How about the route we took is lost. That makes a lot of sense. Two two blaster beams from the warship come screeching across uh your bow as you make like uh, evasive maneuvers and um, yeah, I do. put yourself put yourself in front of the ship uh, still heading towards your destination but um, it is now chasing you Okay. and Shoot. Samson what are you doing uh, I am uh, just trying to help navigate right now okay looking for anything up ahead that might uh, impede our uh Escape. Okay, so you're kind of backseat driving. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> That's much. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Rune, ease up on the control. Don't, don't, uh, damn it. She's a delicate beast. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> um, yeah, all right. So, um, Lorena and, uh, and you, Juan, you are in the, um, you're back down in the cargo hold, and you're fiddling with the cloaking device uh next to the ship's engines um give me an unleash power roll I, uh, okay so shit like this is what i've been training for uh, i rolled an eight but i was wondering um if i do an unleash power roll can i use my character power uh, yeah. Okay. Do I have to re-roll, or can, can I just use the same roll? It's the result of the roll okay. that you already made. Okay. So, because I do have, I guess it's like the wretched gift, and it's like whenever I yeah. unleash power, I say what slumbery workers the device sets in motion and or its side effects. So, if I rolled at eight, is that is that enough for a pass? Yeah, it's a pass. Yeah. It, it's seven to nine is a mixed success. So, you have passed on the roll um and you will get to pick two of those unleashed powers and then you add the um side effect the thing for your wretched gift okay um so so the device can do exactly what you wanted to the device can be used again you don't rouse other devices in your environment you would avoid avoid the device's side effects you'll get to pick two of those okay so i'm going to the device does exactly what we wanted and I kind of wanted to fix that issue where, like, we appear as a as a blank space. Like, we're cloaked, but we're, like, cloaked everything. There's, like, no reflection. So I was just, I guess I was going to say that we don't rouse other devices in our environment. Fair enough. That does mean that this is going to be a one-use uh, situation. Does that mean um, that it? But that, does that mean that it breaks after we wait? Uh huh. Okay, maybe. Yep. On that note, um, I'm just saying if you do if you don't choose the r- rousing other devices in your environment, you will rouse other devices in your environment. So okay, it's a toss up. Okay, do you want it to work exactly like you wanted it to and be usable again? Th- those are the reason. What well, that's why these are very yeah strict. Okay, like. It's to keep you from having your cake and eating it, too. Ooh, that's true. Because um, we would have needed to roll over a 10 to have our cake and eat it, too. Yeah. Oh, well, right. you'd still, you know, mm-hmm. get side effects from it yeah. at that yeah. point. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna... 
I feel like we are on a strict strict timeline and we need to escape. That's fine. If it's one use, as long as it gets us the fuck out of the way of this shit, like, that's fine with me. Worry about now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't want to rouse any right, other so, devices and it does exactly what we want it to. Okay, so you... you- plug this thing into the ship's engine and um lorena's like running cables and you're like uh fine-tuning the device making the corrections that uh you think are necessary that you pointed out to lorena last time and um uh all of a sudden like a wave of energy kind of bubbles around your ship uh you guys can even see it like film over the cockpit windows um this like purpley energy uh and you juan who's got your hands like deep in the you know uh sauce on this one the the wiring and everything on this device um start to like get just jolted with energy um, kind of an uncontrollable amount of energy uh and uh, Lorena is like, oh my god, we did it, we did, oh my, Jesus, you Juan! Uh, and, like, pulls you away, uh, but not before you take to harm. Mm, so I am bleeding. Damn, you has gotta be... I'm bleeding! I'm definitely, my, I'm at the third hitbox, and... Oh gosh, I thought you were at the fourth, even. Okay, you're doing a little better than I thought. So, wait, did I have time to heal? Uh, did I have time to heal uh, from when I slammed n- my face? No. I thought when I... S- no, no, no. That You healed from that. Okay. You did not heal from getting kicked yeah. or kicked in the stomach. That's what I was going to say. Or need in the stomach. So I'm bleeding. I guess I'm a bloody fried mess right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the... You see... You hear the... um or notice that the knife ship has stopped firing um, bolts of energy across across your ship. And it, like, peels away and starts doing a search of the nearby area to try to figure out what happened to you guys, where you went. Okay, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to just get as far away as possible. Just, like, straight okay. shot, whatever's clear. All right, you do it. So... So, yeah, Gregory Argyle is gone. You're out of the danger of the knife ship. And this device, which helped you escape, um, used all of the energy stored within it and lies just like a smoldering hulk of metal. As Yu Huan kind of, like, twitches on the floor. Oh man, another close one, I guess. We gotta figure out how to stop running into that thing. Uh, you, Juan, Lorena, how's everything going down there? I'm pretty dead on the ground right now. No, that wasn't a legit. That wasn't a legit <laughs> response. I was just. I'll answer for the both of us. Um, you, Juan, took some damage from the device. Uh, their hands were in it when it went off, and took some radiated electrical energy. Uh, I think they're going to be okay, but they look pretty bad down here. Okay. Um, Let's move them to the med bay and we'll see what, how they're doing here. Android, we need a treatment for uh, electrical burns. I'm already on my way, captain. Thank you very much. Android also Get the CT scan ready. Yes. Yes.